We have absolutely been flooded with comments on our social media about our new Hanson versus Predator stings. Well, today's creep is from right here in New York City, and you should have seen the disgusting text messages he thought he was sending to a 12-year-old. I think we can only read about three of them on TV. This guy from New York City just drove more than 50 miles in the rain to have sex with someone he thinks is a 12-year-old girl. You heard right. A 12-year-old. Hi, Poppy. Hi. It's so good to see you. Joshua Colon likes to be called Poppy, Latin slang for daddy. But we have another name for him. Predator. Cologne is the latest guy caught in our all-new investigative segment, Hansen vs. Predator. He's 32 years old, old enough to be the girl's father. He lives in Queens and works for a plumbing company in Brooklyn. Besides Poppy, he likes to be called Boss. His profile on the Link app shows he belongs to groups like Kush Smokers Are Us and Love Seekers, a site for teens. All traffic cams we can see for Connecticut to New York. He's in Queens now and heading this way, and he says there's traffic. That woman in a bulletproof vest is with the online predator watchdog group Tetrad Core. They set up the sting in cooperation with the Fairfield, Connecticut police. On social media, Tetrad posts a pic and profile that is obviously a 12-year-old girl. We're protecting her real identity. Cologne makes the first contact, and after some innocent chat, he sends some sexually charged texts about how he'll take her virginity. He then makes a bizarre proposal no adult should ever make to a 12-year-old. You make me more happier. It's too bad you aren't old enough to marry. I would marry you. After she tells him her mom is going out of town, Cologne reveals his fear of getting caught. And if your mom comes back and I'm there, I could get in serious trouble and go to jail. So I'm home from school and... The on-site decoy is posing as the 12-year-old named Jenna Claire. She's talking to Cologne as he drives up I-95 from New York City to our sting house in Fairfield. Be really careful when you drive up, okay? But it's not the rush hour this guy has to worry about. He's about to be caught on our more than a dozen hidden cameras outside, inside, in the hallway, the kitchen, and in the garage where police are in position for the bust. Whoever's there is typically the handcuffing officer, okay? This is where we want it to happen. We want to ultimately arrest him here, handcuff him here, and then basically just search him. The Fairfield cops are prepared for any possibility. You should have that taser out. Our driveway cam shows Cologne pulling up to the sting house in a bright yellow car. He's carrying an overnight bag as he walks to the back door. Our on-site decoy, a 19-year-old theater student who could pass for a preteen, invites him inside. Watch again. He locks the door behind him. What could he be thinking? Did you get here okay, though? Were the roads bad? Star, guys. Really nice. Oh, nice. Thank you. Those are red velvet? Yeah. Do you like them? Yeah, I like them. Oh, cool. Do you want to take my picture? Mm -hmm. Yeah. What'd you bring me? I bring. I brought dinner for myself. Oh. Because I, I, I didn't get to, uh, I didn't get to finish my dinner. Oh, that's Because okay. I was kind of in a rush. You can finish. I had stuff earlier. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Then, then we can have it's cupcakes. Grab me something, whatever. It doesn't matter. It's okay. It's a nice house. Thanks. Am I afraid he's a bathroom? Because I, I was just way older for so long. Yeah, it's uh, right here. Kind of, you look hotter than the picture. <laughs> Thanks. Yeah. I'm sorry, I'm really nervous. Yeah, right there. Are you nervous? Oh. No, here, this one. Oh. Yeah, I know, it's little. Yeah, okay. Oh, that's cool. It's an old-fashioned bathroom. Yep. <laughs> Poppy doesn't know it yet, but he's about to get a shocking surprise. He goes by the nickname Poppy, Spanish for daddy, but I've got another nickname for him, Predator. And in today's Hanson vs. Predator, this smiling perp who thinks he's about to hook up with an underage girl is in for a rude awakening. 32-year-old Brooklyn plumber Joshua Cologne thinks he's going to nibble on cupcakes and cuddle with a 12-year-old girl. Do you want to try my picture? Mm -hmm. Yeah. But when he comes out of the bathroom, 
He sees me. He's about to lose his lunch. Keep your hands. Keep your hands right there. I know who you are. You know who I am? Yes. So you've seen my shows before? Yeah. Well, guess what? We're starting up again. Okay. And you are among our first guests. Okay. What's your name? Joshua. Joshua. Joshua what? Cologne. Cologne. And how old are you? I'm um, 32. 32. And how did you meet this Jenna Claire? Uh, it was on an uh, uh, app link. And why did you think it was appropriate to talk to a girl who said she was 12 years old? I don't know why. 12? I know. It was wrong. What did you bring with you tonight? Huh? What did you bring with you tonight? Clothes. Clothes. Why would you need to change of clothes? Because I was going to stay over. Stay over. With a 12-year-old girl? Yeah. And what were you going to do with this girl? I don't know. What do you mean you don't know? Um, I guess, you know, I guess have sex. Have sex? Yeah. Now, you had quite the chat with this girl. It's too bad you aren't old enough. I would marry you. Yeah. You would marry a 12-year-old girl. If she was old enough. If she was old enough. But why would you even say that to a 12-year-old? Yeah. Do you have any nieces and nephews, younger cousins? Yeah. Okay. Well, what if a guy was hitting on them like this? Yeah, I wouldn't like it. You wouldn't like it. So explain to me what was going on in your mind that made you think it was okay to come here and do the very same thing. Uh, I, I, I don't want to say anything more. You don't want to say anything more? Well, you pretty much already said it. Did you bring condoms? Yes. Where are they? In my bag. What else is in the bag? Clothes and toothbrush, stuff like that. That's it? That's it. That's what you're gonna find. Yeah, well, we'll finally make out and make love. I was thinking of staying over and leaving the next morning. So when I come over, we'll go to your room and you'll take off all your clothes yeah. since I'm the boss. Yeah. Why did you have her call you Poppy? I don't want to say anymore. What is Poppy? It's Latin, Latin of saying. Nickname? Yeah. You wanted her to call you the boss. And then you say, I just hope your mom doesn't find out about me because I could get in serious trouble, you know, right? I could go to jail. I know love knows no age, but most people don't think the same. Twelve, Joshua. I know, I know, I messed up. Have you done this before? No. Have you ever contacted an underage girl online before? Yes. We have evidence of that, too. A 13 year old. So, why should I believe you've never done this before? I just, the first of me, you just woke up a chance. You woke up a few weeks ago and said, I'm going to chat up this girl and drive from your home where? New York. In Brooklyn. In Queens. Queens. You said Brooklyn. Or do you work in Brooklyn? I work in Brooklyn. Okay. And you live in Queens? Yes. And what do you do for work in Brooklyn? I'm a plumber. A plumber. Good job. Yeah. Good pay. It's all right. Why would you toss it away for this? I don't know. I mean, can't you explain to me what brought you here tonight? No. I mean, it's not right. It is not right. I, I know. But help me to understand it. I, I don't know. I don't know what was going through my mind. You don't know. No. I mean, this is your chance to explain yourself. I, there's no way I'm getting out of this anyway, so I'm, I'm not going to say anymore. Well, Joshua, I don't know what else to say to you. Except that yeah. I'm Chris Hansen, and 
This is an investigation called Hanson versus Predator. Okay. So if there's anything else you want people to know, now is the time. No. Okay. No. You're free to leave. Um, can I use the bathroom? Because I've been holding it for quite some time. I think you should go. Okay. Since he's seen my shows before, he surely knows what's about to happen. But in all my years of doing this, I wasn't prepared for what he was about to say. We're back here in New York with the conclusion of today's Hanson versus Predator. And in all my years of busting these guys, I've heard all the excuses. Nothing was gonna happen. It wasn't me, or my favorite, I was trying to protect her. But in the case of Joshua Colon, he didn't try to offer any stories. In fact, he's almost too happy to reveal his bad intentions. When Joshua Colon walked into the kitchen, he might have been hoping his next stop would be the bedroom. Why would you need to change clothes? Because I was gonna stay over. Stay over with a 12-year-old girl? Yeah. Colon had his sick weekend with a 12-year-old girl all planned out until I walked into the room. I think you should go. Big change of plans. Cologne is spending the weekend in jail. There he comes. After I caught this predator, the Fairfield, Connecticut cops put him under arrest. Come right over to here. Come behind your back, sir. As officers search his yellow car, he's handcuffed and put into an unmarked car. Watch your head, and I'm going to slide all the way over. Cops drive Cologne to the police station. Can you open all your hands, sir? After he's fingerprinted and photographed, he'll spill his guts to detectives. Don't wait on us. We've already in dinner, so we're good to go. You're the hungry guy. The detectives give him some Chinese takeout. He's waived his rights to remain silent. And what he's about to say will shock you. And it's 12 an age that you're comfortable with? That's your preference, or...? I date all ages. What? Huh? I can't hear you. I date, I, uh, I date older, younger, I mean, not younger than 12, but you know, 12 and up. Now, Cologne is about to make a truly stunning confession. Listen closely. I Man, did have sexual relations with someone older than 12. How old? 15. When was that? Uh, a few months back. Do you remember her name? It's not a her. Okay, do you remember his name? Dave. Cologne then reveals his biggest fear was meeting me instead of a little girl. We were talk, but I never actually went to meet them because I was always afraid. Of what? To be like on that guy's show. <laughs> <laughs> That's what you were afraid of? <laughs> I can't say that I blame you. What exactly, if you could, if you could erase um, him from walking into the kitchen today, what do you envision yourself doing right now if that hadn't happened? You guys know already. Your intention was to have sex with her? Yep. Okay. Did you tell her you loved her? Yes. Why? I don't know, I guess they're kind of, I don't know, kind of pull her in, I guess, or something. To pull her in? I guess. What do you think would be different about a sexual experience with a young girl versus an older person your age? I mean, the older person is more experienced. And I guess in, one, in some way, I, I could have, I guess, the power, I guess. The power of having an inexperienced person? Yeah. Cologne surely is going to choke on his chicken noodles after the detective calls the watch commander to find out how much his bail will be. He's going to make it 750000 which is very high. Cologne's bond is eventually set at $125,000, and he bails out. What surprised you most about the results of this investigation? How vulnerable our children are. How the Internet has made our children so much more vulnerable to individuals that want to do them harm and how easy it is to entice children. 
The text messages, the visit to the house, evidence so overwhelming that Cologne pleads guilty to three felony charges, attempted second-degree sexual assault, attempted risk of injury to a minor, and attempting to entice a minor by computer. Cologne is sentenced to seven years in prison, suspended after serving three, and he must register as a sex offender. He's traded life in the big city for the big house. We got another one off the streets for now, but watch out. There are more predators out there, and I'm going to catch them. What's scary about Cologne is how unapologetic he seems about the whole thing. So I'm up here now in the New York office because I get emails from parents all the time after they watch these segments asking how they can better protect their kids from these creeps. Well, it starts right here on the computer and with this, your smartphone. Here are some short tips for you. Number one, educate yourself on all the new social platforms. You don't need to use Snapchat or Whisper, but you need to understand how they work. Number two, curfew their cell phones. Set a time that kids' smartphones go on a family charging station for the night. These creeps like to work in the late night hours. And lastly, number three, have a blunt age-appropriate discussion with your kids. When I did the very first investigation, I showed it to a group of young teens. They thought the predators were actually actors. They were shocked to see guys really do this. And I was shocked when I asked the group if any had been approached online in an inappropriate way and not told their parents, 75% said yes. Yes, 75%, which is very scary. For more on how to protect your kids online, just go to CrimeWatchDaily.com.